Hi, this is Dr. Catherine Dow. I'm at the ACR 2022 meeting. Actually, I'm watching it from Dallas. Anyways, I'm reporting for room now, and I wanted to share with you this abstract. It's abstract 0725. And it's a retrospective study about whether or not you should repeat the ENA panel, particularly if it's negative. And that's a question that we all wonder because, you know, in our choosing wisely initiatives and trying to cut costs, repeating the ENA panel, we don't know the cost effectiveness of it. So for the first time, this is a retrospective audit. This was actually um, done by the, uni the Monash University in Australia. And what they did was they looked at all patients who've had an ENA result. And they found that there were 23,000 ENA testing from over 19,000 patients between the time period of 2013 to 2020. 89% of the time, the ENA panel was negative with 0.9% equivocal. So that leaves us with about 10% of the tests or 2,300 tests being positive. Rho antibodies, especially Rho 52 antibodies were the most commonly found ENA. So that's about 51% of the samples. And then about 13.4% of the samples had more than one ENA test performed. And so they look specifically at these tests. So the patients who've had more than one test. So what they found was that over 95% of them, the results were stable. It didn't change. It was positive before, it'll remain positive. It was negative before, it'll remain negative. There's only 2.2% that actually changed from negative to positive. And if you were to exclude patients with pre-existing rheumatic disease, that's only five new results. You know, five new results out of 23,000 ENA testing it's not worth it. So here it is. Do not repeat the ENA panel again, particularly in somebody with the same kind of symptoms. You're not going to find anything new. This is Dr. Catherine Dow reporting for Room Now. Follow me on Twitter at KDow2011.